Hey there folks, Aldershot here, and we're back with some more Long Dark. Uh, I do apologize for the long wait for this episode. Last week we didn't really uh, get an opportunity to uh, record an episode, so again, I do apologize for that. Actually, I didn't record anything last week. <laughs> it was a pretty busy time for me, personal matters and all, but we're back! We're back, and I believe... We've left off uh, at the Hydro Dam, and we are going to be searching through the dam's uh, basement because there's going to be a lot of loot there, and it looks like we're already encumbered. Okay, well, this is not <laughs> this is not a good way to start our little search through the basement anyways. I think what we'll do is actually let's just quickly go through our inventory uh, and see what we don't really need. I know I left a bunch of stuff already upstairs but let's just quickly take a look oh i see we have two rifles that's what's holding us back right now here's what we're gonna do uh we're not gonna harvest it i don't is there any bullets in this one let's see here i guess not supposedly there's a way to uh remove bullets from rifles now let's see how about this one okay this one does have bullets in it so i'm assuming this one doesn't actually have bullets so what we're going to do See how we're going to be coming back this way anyways. We're going to drop this, seeing how it's kind of an unnecessary piece of equipment. And same with this. Uh, and if we have any room, we'll come back and pick it up, of course. Uh, we're not going to drop any of our food. This is pretty much all the food that we have currently. So this is very important for us to keep. Our clothing is everything that we're wearing, so we're not going to drop that. We're obviously not going to drop our first aid stuff. Uh, so okay, I think we're pretty good. I'm not really quite sure what's holding up all the weight. Uh, but either way, we'll, we'll drop stuff as we need to anyways. But, uh, anyways, let's take out our lamp here. Wonderful. And let's do our little exploration. I was really excited to, uh, explore this place. I'm not really was, but I am. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking in past tense here. But, uh, yeah, okay, we're gonna go through all this stuff. Um, I'm hoping to find a lot of loot here. Because another reminder, I, I think I remind everybody this every episode, but <laughs> we are playing in stalker difficulty. Uh, so every piece of loot is absolutely essential and very, very important. Currently uh, in our game, we are kind of exploring nomadically. And what I mean by that is that uh, we haven't really found one home base. I've debated over either the... Um, the cabin by the lakeside or the trapper's homestead uh, they're both kind of our home base right now we got stuff uh, planted or stored in both those areas but because I'm not really quite sure where I want to actually make my home uh, we are living sort of nomadically and that's one of the reasons why we're having some inventory issues alright just so you guys know Let's see, a whole bunch of nothing so far. A bit of scrap metal we found. Uh, a little bit of tinder there for the newspaper. That's pretty good. Alright, anything else here? Anything else here? But I think by the time that we've actually come to a conclusion to where we should stay, <laughs> I'm probably ready to be moving to uh, another area, actually. There's only, like, one more area that I really want to explore in Mystery Lake right now, and that's the uh, Watchtower. So we're pretty close to actually exiting this map. So I'm not really quite, sh I'm not really no sure if anymore. finding a home base is even relevant in our playthrough right now. I think once we're done exploring uh, this area, the the Hydro Dam, uh, we're probably going to head to the Watchtower as mentioned earlier, and probably make our way to another map. I'm I'm thinking the Coastal Highway. I think that's going to be our next destination. Uh, just because we explored uh, the Pleasant Valley map a lot. And even though it's so, because it's so big, we haven't actually explored all of it. But regardless of that, uh, I kind of want a change of pace. And I really enjoyed my time in the Coastal Highway. I'm curious to know how it's going to be played in Stalker. Because even in Voyager mode, the Coastal Highway map is relatively difficult. Because of how small it is, and because of how uh, infested with wolves that map is. This is by far... The most um, concentrated amounts of wolves in uh, in all of the maps in the Long Dark, I feel. So there is that. 
Anyways, we found a this. few useful things so far. A lot of soda, which is great. I do love finding sodas. Uh, we found a bandage already, which is great. In stalker difficulty, you can never uh, use too much of that. We should probably check our health. I believe we got attacked earlier before this episode. So yeah, 66%. So a little bit of rest is in order when we get tired, which we are actually starting to. We got about eight hours of daylight left. Um, looks like we could use a little bit uh, something something to drink and eat. So I think we're going to drink some soda. Uh, see how that goes. That will reduce our thirst, of course. Let's see. We'll eat a canned beans because it's the lowest condition here. Uh, obviously, we'll use our can opener. I believe that is going to be a smart thing to do. Also, something I've been kind of thinking about is, um, you know, as you guys might know, on this channel, we do like to feature a lot of video game impressions or reviews, whatever you want to call it. And we haven't actually done that for The Long Dark. And I think one of the reasons is because I've been less playing it so much, I don't see a whole lot of reason to do it. But you know what? I actually have a few bones to pick with this game that I don't really talk a whole lot about in this Let's Play. Although I have mentioned it here and there. So I'm kind of feeling like I might do an impression on The Long Dark sometime. Maybe next week or something like that. If you guys think that would be a good idea, if you guys want to hear some, I guess, concentrated opinions <laughs> on The Long Dark, uh, let me know in the comments and that will definitely help incentivize me to do that. Otherwise, you know, the whole point of, uh, you know, the impression series, one of the main reasons for me doing them is to really show off the gameplay while I describe the game and some of my thoughts on it and uh, obviously I've done lots of that through the let's play so uh, yeah we'll see how that goes it's just a thought that I had in my head but anyways let's uh, let's keep looting just definitely some good stuff here we got a flare that's pretty good that's definitely pretty good no, nothing in there nothing in there and a soda nice okay well, that's something no. Nope. Oh, another soda. Okay, very good, very good. Nope. A took. A took. That is how you pronounce it, by the way. It's took. Uh, I am Canadian. I'm an expert in these things. <laughs> uh, I believe the took is actually better condition. So let's see. We'll repair this. Twenty-five minutes. Uh. Okay. Sure. Uh, oh, we got two sewing kits. I see. Um, I guess we'll use a lower condition one for now. Select. And... Let's see. I think this is, uh, this is definitely an upgrade. We'll wear that for sure. Okay, good. We are getting encumbered. Which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, matches! Excellent. We need them. We need fire significantly. Uh, ooh. Nice. Another little upgrade here. Perfect, perfect. We'll wear that, of course. Wonderful. Excellent. Absolutely fantastic. Alright, cool, cool. So far, so good. Uh, oh, by the way, guys, uh, a commenter in our video showcasing... We should probably turn off this lamp. We're just wasting fuel now. Um, a commenter in our video uh, on the uh, transition zone from uh, this area, Mystery Lake, to Pleasant Valley or whatever. I... I I uh, kind of mentioned that once you exit this basement area, uh, you can't actually come back in. I was wrong. A commenter pointed out that if we follow the ledge, we can actually come back in through this window. We'll actually try and do that now. And hopefully we don't, like, <laughs> get stuck. But uh, I'm, I'm, I haven't actually tested it. I'm assuming the commenter is right. It seems to be right. So we're going to test that now, actually. We are a little encumbered, but we're going to head to uh, the door's exit. And what we're going to do is put away some stuff, because I believe there's some lockers. Uh, and it'll be on the way out anyway, so we can just pick up our loot if we have space for it, of course. Anyways, we are encumbered, so we are moving a little bit slower than usual. But we did get a lot of loot out of it, which is great. We got some food. We got some clothing uh, and some upgrades, which is absolutely fantastic. So anyways, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Nothing here. Nothing here. Of course, nothing here. I've already explored this area. This door here, right? 
Because once we exit this door, it locks behind us. But apparently we crawl through a certain ledge. We can actually uh, come back in. But let's test that out. We got a few pieces of material that we probably don't need. Oh, did we lose? Yeah, we got no fuel. Okay, okay. That should be easy enough to fix, I think. Uh, let's go back to our tools. Action, refuel. There we go. I think we're good. <clears throat> Alright, perfect. Anyways, uh, let's drop some stuff we might not need before our little test. Uh, let's see. This stuff is actually pretty heavy, believe it or not. Do scrap metal? They're almost one kilogram. So I'm gonna drop. Uh, I wanna drop all of them actually for now. I wanna drop one piece of this here. Uh, I'm gonna pick. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I'm gonna pick these clothing bits back up because I want to harvest them for the cloth. But for the sake of, I'm oh, gonna wear. Wear. Can we wear this? We should be able to wear this. Where? Okay, there we go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, we'll drop some of the clothing, we'll harvest them later. Uh, let's see, we're still encumbered, probably because we're tired, I'm, I'm expecting. Drop some of these unnecessary tools. There we go, there we go. Uh, these don't weigh too much, we can probably keep them. Let's see, I think we're pretty good for now. We're not dropping any of our food, I refuse to, I'm sorry, just not going to. Alright, so this is our stuff. We'll pick this stuff up later. And here we go. Let's hope the commenter's right, because if he's wrong, we won't be able to make our way back in. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, we can't uh, we can't exit. So let's see. He said to, we follow a ledge. I'm expecting it's this ledge here. Oh, I hope we don't die. <laughs> oh, God. So I haven't actually tested this out yet, so we'll see how this goes. This is... Oh god! Oh no 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 no! <laughs> I thought I was gonna fall off for a second. Okay, okay, okay. Let's be careful. Let's not run. Let's take our time. Oh my god, that freaked me out. <laughs> okay then. This is really, really dangerous. Okay? Oh my god. I haven't actually explored this area. So it looks like this is definitely... Oh! <laughs> Meat and hide. Wonderful. I'm glad I went here. Uh, cold's not too bad. It's actually pretty decent temperature. Minus 18 is pretty decent. Minus 2 wind chill is actually excellent. Anything below minus 18 or below minus 20 I consider pretty good. Uh, once you have better clothing, once you can make like deer skin coats and fancy pants and all that stuff, uh, you can actually withstand close to minus 30 temperature with relative ease so that's definitely a goal that i think most people should aim for uh now the question is should i harvest this i mean we need the meats but we're getting a bit tired we have a lot of day daylight left we still have six hours so um well let's see let's see how long it will take let's just see here an hour and ten minutes yeah i think we can i think we can spoil ourselves a little bit we can probably afford the time we're definitely going to be encumbered now though definitely definitely going to be encumbered Yep, we are. Let's see, this seems to be an opening here. Oh, oh, here we go, yep. It seems to be... There we go, guys, that's how you get back into the dam. So, the commenter was correct. Thank you to the commenter who uh, let us in on that little detail. I actually didn't know about that, obviously. So, there we go, another uh, little way to find more loot. If you go through that little ledge. Uh, again, do be careful. I almost fell. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very, very dangerous, though. Very, very dangerous. Do be careful. Don't run. Walk. Un unless you're, like, super confident and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's retrieve some of our loot. We're probably going to spend a night in the dam, actually. We're getting close to nighttime. Uh, I think we got about five, maybe four hours left, which will give us enough time to do some micromanaging and that's probably it we'll probably uh, spend the night here roll out the old uh sleeping bag you know transformers roll out haha <laughs> i no that wasn't funny i'm s that's not funny <laughs> oh god anyways it's not funny when you have to laugh at your own jokes that's when you know it's really not funny <laughs> okay anyways that's our stuff um yeah okay we're gonna set up camp here i think uh a little dark though 
Yeah, we're gonna have to keep the lantern on. Luckily, we do have a lot of lantern fuel, so I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, 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 look at that. The energy bar. Don't want to miss that. Food's definitely good. I do love hiding little bits in the nooks and crannies, let me tell you that much. Uh, definitely pay attention, guys. Definitely, definitely pay attention. Anyways, anyways, uh, we are going to turn the lantern off. Sorry about the darkness, guys. I just don't want to waste any fuel while we do some uh, minor micromanaging. Actually, you know, you know what? We actually need to pick up some stuff first before we do this. Pick up, 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 pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. All right, cool, cool, kill. All right, now we'll turn off the lantern for the sake of saving fuel. Um, let's check our stats. We're getting pretty hungry, getting pretty tired. This should definitely help us reduce our load a little bit. Uh, let's see, our MRE is actually starting to go bad. It's going to give us a lot of calories. I think we're going to eat it now, actually, before it goes bad. This is going to fill our hunger meter all the way up, which is absolutely fantastic, of course. Just like that. And we can use a little drinky drink. We're not going to drink a soda, because that's going to give us calories in which we would waste if we use it now. So I don't want to do that. So we'll drink some water. We are out of water, though. That makes me a little bit fearful, of course. Luckily, we do have a lot of soda. So that should keep us going for a little while, at least. Um, we're not going to drop any food, as mentioned before. What we're going to do <clears throat> is to harvest some of our stuff, I think. I think that's what we're going to be doing uh, for the time being. Harvest. Yes, please. Harvest. Yes, please. Thank you very much, game. <laughs> sticky buttons are sticky, eh? Uh, we'll harvest this as well. Harvest. Excellent, excellent. And we'll harvest this as well, of course. Alright, so that should be about 30 minutes past, so let's check our stats again. We are getting really tired. Uh, it should be pretty dark now, but no, I didn't mean to wear that. I meant to harvest that. No, not repair. Harvest, thank you. Very, very good. Okay, that's all our clothing. That's a little bit of micromanaging taken care of. Uh, probably not going to drop anything. What we're going to do now is roll out our bedroll. Actually, you know what? I can't see Jack all. I, I can't see anything here. Okay, hold. Okay, okay, game. Okay, okay. That's. No, that's not what I want. Okay, here we go. <laughs> wow, it's dark in here. Holy crap. Uh, let's drop our lantern so we have some lights. That way we still. We can see what the hell we're doing. Uh, while, you know, holding our thingy-mabobber, our, our, our... Wow, I don't know how to say words anymore. <laughs> our sleeping bag, there we go. We'll drop this, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> it's been a little while, I've, apparently I forgot how to commentate and speak English. <laughs> good times, good times. Um, bedroll, right, that's what I'm trying to do. Alright, well, we'll put this down here. Good enough. Uh, let's pick up our lantern again. Okay, just dropping things on my desk. Uh, let's turn off our lantern. Again, it's not to waste fuel. Now we can go to bed nice and safe. Uh, say seven hours. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's say eight hours. Because we actually could use the rest where we are at 66% condition rather than 100%, which would be ideal. It's so dark I didn't even know we woke up. Holy crap. Why we didn't we didn't sleep at all? What the hell? No. Oh god. I can't see anything. What the hell's going on here? Where's our bedroll? Oh, I think I picked it up rather than going to bed. Okay, Aldershot. Stop being such a dirt, please. <laughs> okay, okay, there we go. Rest. Not pick up. <laughs> derp -a derp -a derp -a derp. -a Apparently, I forgot how to play the long dark. It's been a little while, I guess. Alright, we survived for 4 days and 13 hours. Making some progress here, guys. We're getting a little thirsty. So I guess it's a good time to drink some soda. Obviously, we'll drink the lowest condition one first. Which happens to be my favorite flavor. Orange. I love the flavor orange. It's a great color and a great flavor. Um, let's see here. We'll drink this as well. 
That should do us good for our calories as well as our thirst. I do love sodas. It's great for that stuff. Uh, let's see. Four hours of darkness left. Wow, there's still a lot of darkness, apparently. And... Let's check on our health right now. I think we should be pretty close to 100% right now. Um, 100%! There you go. There you go. Anyways, let's make our way out of this area. We're probably we're pretty much done with... Pick this up. We're pretty much done with uh, the dam now. We got everything we need. We are encumbered. But not significantly. So I think it's safe to carry all this loot out. Um, before I actually exit the dam, I'm probably going to cook the meats as well that way when we make our way back to one of the cabins whatever that might be uh, we won't have any nasty four-legged friends as in the wolves sniff us out right if you cook the meats that does help diminish the smell of, of well meat on the character right so that's definitely something worth doing if, uh, you know, if you do have a lot of raw meat, so we're probably going to utilize this barrel here. But for the time being, uh, this is going to be the end of the episode, I believe. I think uh, it's been fairly long now. So, uh, next episode, we will make our way back to one of the cabins. I'm not really quite sure what one, probably the one next to the uh, lakeside because it's the closest to us. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'll probably be cooking the meats off camera. So I don't bore you guys with that in our next episode. So thanks for watching as usual guys. Again, sorry about the long wait for this one. I'm going to try and be a little bit more regular with these less plays. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys watching as usual. And if you enjoyed this, you know, show me some love. Like, share, favorite, and comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll bring you lots more videos just like this. Thanks for watching guys. All the shoutouts.